Hi, welcome to Etude number three, part three. Alrighty, so this is all part of the Villa Lobos 12 and 12 challenge where we are walking through all 12 Villa Lobos' etudes across a year. Obviously, we're in Etude number three. Okay, main points here. This is going to be a very technically challenging uh, left hand section straight off the bat. So you need to take it slow, bust it up into smaller pieces. Secondly, try and concentrate on keeping your slurs even. Again, same advice from the last uh, part. No matter how technically challenging it becomes for your left hand, keep your ear engaged and make sure that your plug finger and your slurred hammer on or pull off is the same, even tone. And thirdly, there is gonna be a lot of different ways to play through all of these chromatic notes. I am giving you my way. I highly suggest that you investigate your way try and find a different way through the patterns that makes it personal to you, or, or even from an expression point of view, yours personally. Right, let's dive in. Alrighty, welcome to micro study number 11. If you recall from the last video, we left it here at A minor, or D minor seven. Open E to shift into major flat nine so we've got the third of the a major the fifth the root and here's your flat nine four one pull off four three pull off four one pull off leave your third finger down for stability then your third finger comes up three one three two and then here open string b flat to a so from from that point on, it's a thumb, P-I, so again, and then you're into the next chord. You have two choices on the next chord, you can either do it with an open B, or you can barre it and do it with a fourth finger B, and then you just stay in position, but that's the next micro study. Okay, so key things to keep in mind for microstony number 11. I would suggest that you split this bar up in half. And get used to that. Unless your fourth finger is well trained, that's going to be a relative challenge. Just do that. And then... And then put them together. repeat that over and over until you get it but the main thing also is you need to concentrate on the shift so I would also do the shift almost sounds like Django and as usual with all of my studies chunk them into small bits put the small bits together so we got small bit number one number two together and you're in and with dedicated practice like that that kind of uh, technical difficulty will disappear it just needs a little bit of patience and remember once you hit a plateau you just need to push the rhythms or push the fingering or push the tempo and you'll find your plateau will go up it's what it's like everything you just got to have a little patience let's move on Alrighty, welcome to micro study number 12. Now, micro study number 12 is the second two bar idea where the idea stretches across two bars. And we start with this wonderful. As I said before, you have two possibilities you can do it open string or bar barred. The barred version is quite good because then you just stay down for the first set of six notes in the long slinky line that moves up. This, by the way, is nothing more than a diminished arpeggio. Which is what Villa Lobos is aiming for. So, one, two, one, three, one, four. One, two, 
shift it up to the third fret, three, four, shift up again one more fret to four, one, two, second finger guide, two, three, one, two, three, four, shift. I've tried to incorporate as many consecutive fingerings as possible along with strong shifts. So again. Now the reason I want to end up on the fourth finger here is so that I can just push it up into that chord and my, my fingers are already up and ready in place for the F sharp and the B. require a little bit of practice. As with this entire study, even tone is a, a key um, ingredient. Those need to be even not. And then we're into the next section. Welcome to micro study number 13. Now this shouldn't really uh, cause you any issue it's just a different chord because we've already seen this material from way back near the beginning of the study. Except here we have this now. So the same ideals that you practiced before are going to come into play here. You need to start A finger, M, I, M, I. That B flat needs to end on an I. So that's the first thing. This is again one of those places where you need your right hand fingering to be engaged with your left hand fingering in a certain order. Second thing is, that is a straight jump on the repeat. You're just going to have to eyeball that, laser ahead, make sure your fingers are in the... Make sure your fingers are in the correct figuration and then down. Right here. Moving into micro study 14 a little bit. I'm using one, three, two, three to do the first four notes of micro study 14. So if I put all of that together now, so the chord is one, two, four. I'm using two to three. One, two, one, two, one, two. study 14 for sure. So again, right hand fingering, make sure that it matches up with your left hand. Let's move on. Welcome to micro study number 14. Now we're going to be tackling this in two different ways. First, just getting the fingers correct. So the fingering is one, three, two, three, down, one, two. There's no guide fingers here. First chord of the uh, turnaround block. So once you've got this, I'm just using I am, my combination of I am, it doesn't matter, you use the right hand finger that feels comfortable for you. We're now going to focus on that little trill at the end because that little trill is going to be uh, an idea that Villa Lobos explores further in the turnaround bars and the coda. So let's just focus in on that section. So this is micro study 14 in focus. I have chunked it up in the study guide in two ways. So the first way is you're gonna learn to put your third finger down after the first hammer on. So if I just move that a little bit closer into the camera, you can't hear it, but it's down. first chunk and you need to practice this because it's a little bit alien but it's the first pre-prepared fingers for this chord. Once you've got that and you're comfortable with it you're gonna put the fourth finger down. You could do it on its own but I suggest you just build it into the, that first chunk. Second chunk, one, two, third finger down, one, two, fourth finger down, one, two, <laughs> one, two and then you're in. So again, nice and slowly, one, two, three down, one, two, four down, one, two, one, two, four. You 
need to get your right hand sorted and make sure that your right hand is in because this chord requires a thumb iron made. So you need to make sure that your last stroke of this is an I or it could be a P, it doesn't matter. But make sure that your, uh, your right hand fingering is in place before you do the next. Okay, and so that is Micro Study 14 in a nutshell. The main thing is literally to put the chunks together. So once you've got the chunks, you go back. <laughs> practice the full bar. Until you're comfortable with it and your brain is processing all of the stuff because you're doing a lot of independent movement there. So take your time and it'll be well worth it when you start to speed this up. Let's move on. Alrighty, welcome to micro study number 15. Micro study number 15 represents the turnaround idea to this etude and it is a slightly higher technical level than what we've had before. It's also totally different material. So we're kicking it off with an E minor sharp 13 chord with a trill in the bass. All right, and here we start to get the full Brazilian flavor because we're going to start getting syncopations over that trill with the chords. If you followed micro study number 14, you'll have been in place for this chord already. The only thing to really keep in mind is here it's going to be P, I, P, I, P. And then it's just a lovely I am an A, I am an A, back into that chord. It, in many ways, this starts to look towards etude number 9 and 10, but definitely etude number 10, the beginning of etude number 10. So it's important to practice this. Like I said, we're starting to get a bit of a Brazilian flavor here with the syncopation. So make sure that you make a lot of those chords. Whoa, harmony change. Lovely. Between the two, third finger is the anchor. All right, here they are, nice and slowly. And then that kind of resolves into a wonderful A major chord again main points here. Third finger is an anchor between the two and once you've done that last hammer on, leave it down so it goes over the harmony as you do this. Make sure that it stays down because it's kind of like a little bit of a, uh, a tie to all of that. Right, that is micro study 15. Okay, so main points for this video are make sure that your right hand fingering is in place with the left hand fingering. Really important. If needs be, chunk everything up into smaller beats and smaller chunks and put them back together again. I'm going to get sick of saying it. <laughs> I'm sure you're sick of hearing it. But that is so important for learning music. Learning music. Not playing music. Learning music. Finally. The, the way that you go through those long two bar lines could be changed due to the chromatics. That is your choice. Interrogate my fingering. Find your own pathway through those lovely lines. Radio. Thank you for staying until the end of this video. This is all part of the Villa Lobos 12 and 12 challenge. 12 etudes across 12 months. Currently, obviously, we're in number three. If you want to join in, it's a community effort. Follow the link below or get on to CG Rocks. Have a great day. And as you can hear, I'm still in New Zealand and we've still got the cigars going, which is what that sound is. Right outside the window. And now they disappear. <laughs> Typical. So yeah, a little bit of cigars in this video today.